Hi there, this is Srikanth Nasari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the basic input output uh, in C++. Okay. So that means uh, how to give uh, input from keyboard or how to grab the input from keyboard and what are the different ways to do that and also how to uh, display our output to the output screen here. Okay. So first let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Visual C++, sorry, Visual Studio Express 2012 Express. Okay. Sorry, Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows desktop. Okay. So first let us uh, go to full screen here and add the couple of header files which is it's very quite normal uh, I was stream ok so all the basic stuff ok so let's have our main function here ok so there are uh, the two main uh, things uh, to do the basic uh, input output uh, thing in C++. The first one is we are already familiar with, so that is uh, C out. Okay. The second one is C in. Okay. So both of these are uh, objects which are uh, defined somewhere in the IO stream uh, class, so IO stream header file here. Okay. So these are uh, the objects which are uh, defined somewhere in the IO stream class. Okay, so here we are using uh, the making use of the IO stream header file since we have included that at, uh, included that in our uh, at the very beginning of our program. So we are making use of it, uh, and then we are uh, uh, using those objects with some uh, special operators. Okay, so let's see how to make it uh, to demonstrate with. Uh, let's take an example. Let's take uh, two variables here: int i var, okay, and i var two and some here okay so we have taken two variables uh, so just to demonstrate with an example of taking two variables and grabbing some values from the keyboard at the time at the time of run uh, running the program and storing those values in these variables and calculating the sum of these two variables okay in a short way so we are performing the sum of two variables uh, which we are going to take input from the runtime here okay so first let us have a message let's say co uh, slash and slash t so all these messages are for understanding purpose enter the i var one here okay so just a small message to enter the i var one value uh, next co sorry next c in here okay so c in uh, is an object uh, okay which is used to take the input from uh, the keyboard so you can take you can assume c in as uh, equivalent to scanf so if you are uh, familiar with some C programming, uh, so whatever the job that uh, C in is, has does, sorry, scanf has does in C programming to grab the input from the user, the same task uh, is performed with the C in operator here. But uh, the only difference is uh, between the C out and C in is that here we are using an uh, extraction operator. Okay, so this uh, double uh, the greater than symbol uh, twice is known as extraction operator. So which is uh, which is overloaded. Uh, uh, to change it's to add a new meaning to it okay so what is overloading and, uh, and all these things you will learn in subsequent chapters when you study about uh, polymorphism okay so for, for the time being the combine with the scene object with this extraction operator is used to grab the input from the user so if you say something like this i wear uh, sorry scene i wear one okay so it allows you uh, to have the input from the keyboard and stores the value in the stores the value in this uh, variable i one here. Okay, so here we didn't use this namespace thing. Okay, so in the same way, so let's have a message for other uh, variable also. So slash and slash t. Enter the i var two. Okay, so whatever the message you wanted. And the same way you can have a scene for this also. I wear two here. Okay. So now, uh, so since we have taken uh, use make use of scene uh, object and uh, grab the input for both the variables here. So now let's do the sum here. Okay. So sum is equal to so I wear one plus I wear two. Okay. So let's output the sum also. Let's see out. 
slash in slash t okay the sum of so see how complicated I am writing here the statement I were one and okay so I will let you know in a moment uh, after writing here so what this uh, is or else you can say simply is equal to okay sum here okay so now if you uh, run this small tiny little program so if you observe the output you observe the you understand the concept very clearly so let me make it a bit bigger uh, for viewing purpose i am just entering the value for iware1 so which gets stored in the variable uh, uh, iware1 there okay so i am entering the value 2 for iware2 so for, since we forgot to add the get ch function here so the output is quickly disappearing again let me run the program so if we add 3 and 3 we get the output as 6 here okay the sum of 3 and 3 if we observe here the sum of 3 and 3 is 6 okay so now if you observe uh, to, just to summarize so what we have done here so here we have taken uh, the two variables sorry total three variables uh, iwear1 iwear2 and sum here okay so we have just uh, outputted some message using the c out uh, operator sorry object, sorry object okay so using the scene okay so we are using the making use of the scene object combined with the extraction operator so we have uh, taken the variable here okay so here the compiler understands that so whatever it decides uh, according to the data type which is immediately following the this operator here okay so if the data type is since we have taken iware one as an integer so the compiler uh, understands that uh, the the variable which is following uh, this operator is an integer and uh, it allows only uh, to grab the integer input from the user okay so or else it, it understands that whatever the user is giving uh, the input is an integer okay so in that way uh, it assumes and takes the input and stores it in the that variable iware one okay so in the same way uh, we have just uh, used the co statement to just to print the message on the output screen and again making use of the scene uh, uh, operator or object okay scene object um, we have grabbed the uh, input from the keyboard extracted or, or else you can say extracted the input from the keyboard and stored in the iver2 variable and later this is all a very basic thing we have just calculated the sum of uh, whatever the values we have stored in these two variables and stored and assigned that value in the sum variable and just again using this uh, co statement which is very quite a bit uh, complicated of what we have done until now so in this co we have made use of this cascading uh, uh, style of uh, outputting the values here okay so cascading means uh, you are having a uh, simultaneously number of uh, insertion operators so this is known as insertion operator in c++ since it inserts uh, whatever the output uh, you grab uh, or else whatever the text you have to the output stream okay so we have uh, simultaneously multiple uh, number of uh, insertion operators okay so here uh, first it prints the entire uh, string literal here and then here without the quotations that means that it's a variable and it's just outputs uh, outputs the contents of this variable here okay so next again it's just uh, shows in the output screen this literal, literal. and again uh, since we have a variable here it just uh, displays the value which is stored in that variable and then we have just uh, uh, and then and then we have just outputted the is equal to symbol uh, to just to understand that the sum of these two corresponding variables is so and so okay so again we have a variable here so what whenever it encounters a variable it just displays the value stored in that variable and whenever it encounters the string literal or which is enclosed in a quotations is just throws the output to the output screen whatever you have written in between the quotations here okay so again once again if you run the program small program so if you do minus one and minus one you expect the result as zero sorry minus one and minus one two here okay so if you observe in the last uh, the cout statement uh, which corresponds exactly uh, what we have done here okay so the last cout statement if you observe uh, the sum of is just just got displayed here and it stores the value of iware1 which is minus 1 and n symbol and okay the n literal is displayed and again then it displays the value of iware2 which is again minus 1 so i combine adding uh, these two you get the value as minus 2 here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the basic input output uh, 
8 and C++, okay? So, save the next lesson. Goodbye.